March is Nutrition Month and part of eating healthy is snacking right. Here are Jessica and Lindsay with a cooking demo for part one of our Nutrition Month special. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica. And I'm Lindsay. March is Nutrition Month and this year's theme is to unlock the potential of food. So today and for the next two weeks we will be showing you how to unlock the potential of food through food demos, recipes and other tips and tricks. So Lindsay, what do we mean by unlock the potential of food? So food is nourishment, but it's also so much more than this. Food unites us, it can improve our health, it can prevent disease, and can keep us well for longer. We know that almost 50% of Canadians find it hard to eat a balanced diet on a busy schedule, and we also know that 30% of Canadians snack every day. So today we're going to focus on the potential of food to fuel through nutritious snacking. So Jessica, what's the first step to healthy snacking? So the first snack is to plan ahead. We're all very busy and so it's so important to schedule these healthy snacks into your day to grab and go whenever you are hungry and to keep you energized. So we've got a couple of examples here of some snacks that you can make ahead of time, some that you can keep at work, in your car, um, in your locker, whatever the case might be. So here we've got some trail mix. Um, so this has some uh, nuts and seeds, some whole grain cereal. Um, so you always want to have a source of protein and a source of fiber in your snack. That'll keep you going for longer. We've also got uh, some whole grain crackers and tuna here, which is another example of a nice healthy balanced snack, both of which you can keep on hand at work and just kind of throw together whenever you need it. Great, so another thing to be aware of is the portion sizes. Um, so how often have we sat in front of the TV with a bag of chips and before you know it, you've reached the bottom? Um, so instead, we recommend taking your food out of the box and portioning it into Tupperware or baggies. Um, so here we have a portion of pretzels that we've put into a little Tupperware. You can portion it onto plates like we have with the tuna and crackers. Um, another thing to be aware of though is the distractions like eating while driving or eating in front of the TV. Um, distractions like these can keep us from listening to our hunger and fullness cues and also lead to overeating. Great. So we know that it's really difficult to get our fruits and vegetables in throughout our meals. So our last tip is to include vegetables and fruit with our snacks as well. So we've got a couple of examples here, of just some simple snacks that you can make, including vegetables and fruit. So of course, we've just got cut up raw vegetables with a little portion of hummus here. You can also have some um, vegetable dip that you can make with yogurt or you can purchase that. Um, we've also got some cut up apple slices here with some um, peanut butter. So these are just some ideas of how to include more vegetables and fruit throughout your day. We know that fresh veggies and fruit can be more expensive. So a good alternative is to use frozen. Um, you know, you don't have to do the prep. They're ready to go. You can throw them in a parfait, in a smoothie. Um, another way to save money is actually to buy produce in season, which this time of year is harder to do, but that is a tip for the summer months. Great, so let's make a yogurt parfait. Okay, so we've got our plain Greek yogurt here, um, and we're just going to use that as our base. Okay, and then you can add whatever toppings you'd like. So we have some nuts, some fruit, some seeds, and some oats. Um, so I'm going to actually add some blueberries to top it off, and some pumpkin seeds, some walnuts. And some oats. So we're using fresh blueberries, but you can use frozen. Um, I'm using oats to boost the fiber content, and I'm using the pumpkin seeds and the nuts for some healthy fats and protein. And yeah, so there you've got a nice little snack of a yogurt parfait. Looks good. So another one of our favorite snacks to make that's also pretty inexpensive is roasted chickpeas. Um, a lot of people, I see people buying the, the pre-packaged chickpeas that are roasted, but you can easily make this yourself. Um, so we'll just show you a quick little demo here on how to do that. So it starts, of course, with your chickpeas, which you can use dry or canned. In this case, we've used canned. You just want to, of course, take the chickpeas out, rinse them off, put them into a bowl, so like we've done here. In your bowl, you're going to add your olive oil um, as well as your spices. So you can make it sweet or savory. In this case, we've used some smoked paprika. So we've already put on our spices, cumin, you can do salt and pepper, garlic, whatever you'd like. Give it a little stir. In this case, we've already done. And then you're just gonna lay it out on a baking sheet. Make sure there's space between them here. Okay, 
like this. And then you're just going to pop this in the oven at um, about 425 for half an hour or so until it starts to brown. You want to keep an eye on it and stir every 10 minutes. And then you will have a snack that looks like this. So here we've got our roasted chickpeas. We've also added some um, pumpkin seeds as well, which you can do. It's optional, but it gives a little extra protein and a little extra crunch in there. Okay. Great. So to sum it up, snacking can be a great way to increase your fruit and vegetable intake um, to help prevent eat overeating at meal times and to energize throughout the day. If you'd like more information on healthy snacking, visit nutritionmonth2019.ca.